But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Every day after school, Thomas Valero would see his young daughter crying, and he knew something was very wrong. When he finally got to the bottom of the problem, he couldn't believe what had been going on. He had to do something rather sneaky and very underhanded, but he knew the truth had to come out. Starting school is never easy for a child. They need all the support possible from their parents to make this huge adjustment. It doesn't matter how good a teacher is, it's always a scary time for a child. With new routines, new faces, and a new environment, some children struggle to cope with this big change in their lives. In this difficult time of transition, starting a new school is made even worse for a child if they face a very strict or mean teacher. When it was becoming very clear that his daughter was having difficulty adjusting to her school, Thomas knew he had to discover the cause of his little girl's misery. Every parent wants nothing but the best for their child, and it's normal to worry about your children if they're in pain. Thomas was no different. When he noticed that his daughter was struggling every day, he began to grow increasingly worried and alarmed. And every day, his daughter's behavior set off alarm bells in his mind. Thomas immediately noticed a change in his daughter. She became increasingly emotional after starting her new school. At first, Thomas assumed that it was simply nerves related to meeting new people and trying to perform well. But when it got worse over time, he knew that there was something more to it that he wasn't seeing. More and more often, Thomas's daughter began to cry and beg to stay home from school. Eventually, this became a daily routine in the Valero household. Every morning, his little girl would break down in tears. Thomas was understandably very worried about this. It kept getting worse until eventually Thomas could no longer handle it. Days turned to weeks and weeks turned into months. All the excitement and joy seemed to be gone from his daughter. But what was worse, she seemed to grow increasingly frightened of going to school. Every morning was a battle of will, but she was clearly terrified. It got so bad that she soon didn't want to go to school at all. Being a concerned parent, Thomas tried to figure out what was wrong. He tried talking to his daughter, but she clammed up and refused to tell the truth. Thomas knew he couldn't leave things like that. He also knew that he couldn't bear to see his daughter going on like this. But what was the alternative? Thomas's daughter was going to Pine Grove Elementary School's kindergarten. Thomas had never noticed any problems with his daughter before this. Before she started the new school, she had always seemed to be a very friendly, happy, healthy girl who was creative and easily made friends. Now she was like a different child. What had happened? Thomas noticed that the change in his daughter had started once she started attending the new school. He could pinpoint the time exactly. This was when she went from being a happy little girl to an emotional wreck. Thomas began wondering about what was causing it. Could it be the school or the children or even a teacher? Until this all happened, his daughter had been doing well in school. She got good grades, not to mention the detailed feedback reports about her had all been positive for the most part. All the same, only a few months after she had started going to this school, her grades as well as her demeanor started to slip. To top it off, she would get emotional before as well as after school. What was happening? It became too much for Thomas to see his little girl act like this. He felt so powerless. However, he knew all the same that it was time to get to the bottom of the situation. He had reached a breaking point. We're sure any parent would feel worried about the well-being of their child. It was hard seeing his daughter unhappy every day. He was beginning to get more and more worried about her. The more he tried to find out what was wrong, the more the little girl shrank away. That's when he realized what could really be going on. He thought about it a lot. Then he came to the conclusion that she must be getting bullied by one of her classmates or even by one of her teachers. They had a stable and happy family life back at home, so he knew that couldn't be the root of his daughter's unhappiness. But how could he find out the truth? It's very important to be patient. It might even be one of the most important virtues we can all learn, even if it's difficult to practice. When it comes to teaching small kids, this becomes that much more valuable. If you ever had to deal with kids, then you know how hard it can be to handle. As an educator, patience is part of the job requirement. Even more concerning was that his daughter was still so young. She was in her formative years, meaning that she was going through a crucial and important time of her life. What happens during this time of her life will mold her into an adult she will be in the future. That is why it's so important that Thomas got to the bottom of it. Thomas and his wife raised their two daughters and one son with a certain mindset, 
always making sure to surround them with positivity and encouraging them to be their best selves. They know how important it is to develop a strong sense of self in kids to prepare them for what the future holds. Thomas wasn't going to let all his hard work be for nothing. Keeping Thomas and his wife's family values in mind, it makes sense that a harsh, mean teacher can seriously harm the children she cares for in the classroom. Thomas and his wife definitely didn't want that for the little girl. They started suspecting that they were only just discovering the tip of the iceberg and uncovering a much bigger and ongoing problem. Being a resourceful person, Thomas decided he needed to figure out what was going on with his daughter. He was having a hard time since his daughter was too young and shy to tell him about what was going on with her. It was time for the worried dad to take matters into his own hands. Being the father that he is, he just couldn't let his daughter get sadder and sadder with each passing day. He had enough and decided he was going to be the one to do something about it. The only question was how. He thought about it for a while, then he finally came up with the perfect plan. But how could Thomas hear what was happening at school without having to be there at the time? He knew that if he asked to sit in on the class one day, the teacher would just change her behavior. He needed a more creative solution to make sure he was catching her in the act. And so Thomas decided to listen in, literally. He planned and built a tiny hearing device the next morning. He carefully placed it in his daughter's hair. This would allow him to listen to exactly what was going on at her school. Hopefully, it would allow him to understand what she was experiencing there. He knew this was a very drastic way to go about it, but it was important to him. It was important not only to know what was going on, but to have proof on hand as well. He didn't tell his daughter what he was putting in her hair since he thought it might distract her throughout the day. Thomas couldn't wait to see what would happen over the course of the school day. He waited for his daughter at the door and smiled at her as she ran up the driveway. He was excited to finally get that smile he knows and loves back on her face again. And soon, he'd know exactly what had been troubling her. When Thomas started listening to the recording when she came home, he was shell-shocked about what he heard. After listening to the whole thing, he was absolutely livid. He couldn't believe that this had been going on for so long. But even though he was furious, he was still glad that he finally knew what was going on. From the recording, it sounded like the teacher was being very mean to the students in her class. Thomas continued listening to the recording and realized this must be the reason for his daughter's problems. He knew there was no time to waste. It was time for him to do something about it. He had to act fast. He could tell the teacher was taking advantage of her position and power. It hurt and infuriated Thomas to hear the person they had paid to care for their daughter behaving so callously. But why? He really couldn't wrap his head around it at first. Why would she do this to her young students? As he was listening, he found out that the teacher not only said offensive things to her students, but her condescending tone was also unnecessarily mean. The recording allowed Thomas to hear just how much she screamed and yelled at the kids in her care over the most trivial things. What should he do now? It sickened Thomas to see that a teacher would behave in such a way, so he decided it was time to raise the issue with the public school district. When things like this happen to your children, it's usually easier to take it up with someone who has the power to do something about it. He knew that approaching the teacher in question would get him nowhere, so instead of talking to the teacher directly, Thomas decided there was a much better chance of changing things if he turned to the state school board instead. So that's what he did. He set up an appointment to tell his and his daughter's side of the story. Despite the fact that Thomas had a valid complaint as well as proof to back it up, the school district did nothing to help him in any way. He couldn't help but feel disappointed by the response he got from them. To him, it was absolutely sickening that the teacher had been tearing down children on a daily basis. Can you imagine just how upsetting it must be to hear they weren't willing to do anything about his problem? They did say they disciplined the teacher for what she did, but that wasn't enough for Thomas. And what would happen when his daughter went back to school? He wanted them to do more than that. Thomas wasn't happy at all about the response he received from the authorities. The teacher was still teaching the class his daughter was in. He couldn't help but feel like it was time for retribution. Soon enough, he made the decision to take it on himself to do something about Mrs. Duncan, the mean kindergarten teacher. The school offered to move his daughter to another class, but this wasn't just about his daughter anymore. Thomas was worried about the safety and well-being of the other kids in her class as well. As a parent, he knew he had to stand up for his child, but also for the other children. He was upset the school didn't offer much in the sense of support or change. It was a problem that would greatly affect the lives of all these kids. As long as Mrs. Duncan was teaching, there will be children affected by her anger. 
Even though he and the other parents protested together, the school didn't budge. However, he and the parents refused to give up. Word got out about what was happening in school. Everyone heard about how Mrs. Duncan treated the little girls in her class. Thomas didn't get a lot of support after his initial attempts to get justice, but things started turning around when he made a petition on change.org. Soon parents everywhere were outraged. Soon enough, the public arrived to rally around his house. He had over 2,000 signatures for the dismissal of Mrs. Duncan in no time. It was an even bigger surprise when Thomas found himself in the middle of the media spotlight. Local news channels heard about what was going on at Pine Grove and admired Thomas for his determination to get justice. It didn't take long for the story to pop up all over the country. It meant that people all over the nation would hear about what this teacher did to the kids in her class. Even if Thomas wasn't able to have her fired, this gave him a small sense of hope that things could still change. By far, the worst thing about what the teacher did to Thomas's daughter is that it was going to have a lasting effect on the child and the other kids in her class. Things that kids pick up when they're so young tend to stay with them for a very long time, if not for the rest of their lives. Had Thomas not noticed his daughter's strange and uncharacteristic behavior and not worked hard to get to the bottom of things, she might have been traumatized for the rest of her life. He was glad he had tried to put a stop to it, but it was a serious thing that also affected the kids there too. Anyone who has kids knows how challenging it is to be a good mentor by leading by example. A lot of times, one will first have to scrutinize and criticize their own actions and behaviors. This isn't easy to get done, but it's essential if you want to be a good role model for your kids. Thomas did learn from his experience that there would be times when things are out of his control, no matter how much he tried being the best parent he could. Despite this, he would go through hell and back to ensure the safety of his daughter. He also wanted to keep this from happening to other kids. It's the teacher's responsibility to impart lessons that go further than the set curriculum. They should help improve the imaginations and minds of the kids they teach. These are things that will leave a massive impact on the lives of the kids as they grow older. A teacher is meant to inspire the kids they teach. It's never a good idea for teachers to display abusive behaviors and assert dominance by fear. All this does is stifle the progress of the kids and make them more anxious and fearful overall. Did Thomas's efforts to fix the problem work? We'll have to find out. While Mrs. Duncan continues teaching at the school, we hope she's at least come to the realization of how harsh she's been to the kids in her class. Thomas is still hoping against hope that the necessary changes will happen, since he knows he's in the right. It felt to Thomas like the school had been putting the lives of the kids at stake, all thanks to the short temper of one teacher. He learned it would be impossible to make changes if he didn't take a stand. He desperately hopes his actions change the school system, even just a little, to make sure other kids won't be harmed. This entire ordeal had been hard on him and his daughter, but eventually Thomas admitted that it made their family that much stronger. He never would have found out that something like this was happening if he didn't go the extra mile. By this point, his daughter is attending a class taught by a different teacher. If anything, Thomas learned how important it is to pay attention to his daughter and how she's acting. This has made him a better dad thanks to what happened, even though he had to face some hard truths along the way. No matter what happens, Thomas will always be there for his daughters and son. He and his wife will stand up for their kids whenever and however they need to. Without great parents who recognize the problem, their daughter would still be getting bullied by her teacher. Since the very day that their little daughter left the hospital, her parents have always had her best interest in mind. This is what makes a good parent. Thomas and Lacey always make sure to care for the needs of all three kids they have. In order for the kids to grow up and mature into members of society, having parents with a good head on their shoulders and a good heart always helps. A stable home life prepares the child for other things later in life. Aaliyah is truly lucky to have such a great support system.